All right, so today I'm gonna to show you guys how to pick up leaves the efficient way. So what we have here is the bag that I zip tied together, well the tarp. You can also buy actual bags on Amazon. I think they're anywhere between like 30 and $60. But this is the yard, nothing huge. Normally I wouldn't use this tarp to pick up leaves for this small amount of leaves in this small of a yard. But I had somebody comment and ask me to show them how this works. So today I'm actually going to put the tarp on and show you. But normally I would just use the accelerator because that would be more than enough to pick up. I'd have to empty my accelerator like maybe once or twice. But to me it's not worth it to get this whole thing set up and this tarp put on here just to suck up, you know, this tiny little front yard. But for today's purposes only, I'm going to show you a demonstration of how this goes together and then how easy it makes your life. So stay tuned. Just go like this. I take my strap, go underneath it like so. to make sure it's seated on there pretty nice and tight like that. Grab my strap. Sure you tie this up, you don't want it going through your blades. <clears throat> Just like that. So that all it is just going over the top so that the leaves will shoot through and into the tarp to fill it up, obviously. So I'm gonna show you. I just gotta set up my camera really quick in a good spot. Okay, so as you can tell, it sucked it right up. I got half the yard done already. Definitely have to make um, a second pass on it because that was a quite a thick pile. So what it's doing is it's blowing them out the front because it's only allowing it to go through this so quickly. So either do two passes or you could just slow down. I probably should have just slowed down, but.
Okay, so, as you can see, there is quite a bit of leaves in there. To be completely and 100% honest with you, I would say that, to be upfront and honest with you, I would just say, I would give this thing a six out of six out of ten. Six out of ten, that's all it's getting for me. And I'll tell you why. Number one, it's heavy. So right now to take the strap off, pull the tarp off, and drag that to either the back of my trailer or empty it in the woods. But to be completely honest with you, somebody who's older or maybe it's got a little bit of an injury or they're, you know, something, they will not be able to lift that thing. It weighs two, 300 pounds at least. And it's so narrow, you kind of got to like dump it out like a, like a tube of toothpaste because it's all back in here. So you got to pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. And it's so heavy to pick up over your head. It's so hard to dump. And I would like to demonstrate that for you guys right here. So I'm actually going to dump it back in my yard and I'm going to show you what I mean for what makes it so difficult and keep in mind people this is a really small yard and most people are going to have to dump way more leaves than this so be aware of that too but i'm going to take this off i'm going to show you how long it takes me to take it off and i'm going to dump it right here in the grass and i'm going to show you the process and it's kind of a pain in the butt All dry leaves too by the way just so you guys aren't thinking this these are so wet like this is the best condition of leaves you can get like they're super dry the best case scenario on the leaves then you take it like this see what I mean So now I take it back over here and then I would empty this because there's always stuff in here. Take this back over here. Take this back. Take this back up. Run the strap over, run the strap over, hook it back up, tighten it back up, strap it back down. Okay, so as you can see, put it back together because I gotta throw all this shit back in my truck anyway, so. But that was heavy, and that was only this amount of leaves. Like, like that's, that's, for most of you that have like those baggers on the, on your tractors or your lawnmowers, that's probably like one and a half of those, okay? And that was still, now that wasn't that heavy, but that was still quite a load, you know what I mean? That would fill up my accelerator maybe two, two times, but the nice thing about the accelerator is I have the smaller one of the two. They actually make a jumbo one with an attachment on it. So it would be so much easier to just, you seen how easy this accelerator comes on and off. You literally just pick up on it, it comes right out. And then you dump it, and then you, look at, I did this with one hand. And you just, you hook it back in right here. Bam, boom, it's backed up. And then there's a huge square that comes off the edge here. So you could, um, you could do a leaf cleanup. I feel like you could do a leaf cleanup much easier and faster with a jumbo accelerator with the attachment. And a lot of you are probably thinking, well, that'd be super heavy. But when you dump the accelerator, it comes in in half. So you dump like this part by itself, and then you dump that part by itself, and then you just put it back on assembled. But um, this, I would give this a, this tarp setup. I'd give it a six out of ten. As you can see, my yard, I went through, and it sucked up the leaves pretty damn well. I'm not gonna lie, 
Um, it did miss a couple of spots, but anybody that knows anything about sucking up leaves, you know that these leaves, like, these leaves could have fallen since we've done this, or they could have blown off the street since we've been here. The leaves, it's, it's tough to get them all up unless you're really trying hard. But this thing, 14 bucks at um, Harbor Freight. That is a eight by 10, 14 mil tarp. And also keep in mind, um, I just started this season and the first one that I used already ripped right in half. I had to throw it away. Um, the tail end of it actually got caught on like an edge of a flower bed. And I had my lawnmower like way over here, not this property, somebody else's property. But I had my mower like way over here and I thought I was going to be clear of the edge by a mile. But this thing, when it gets full, it sways so far this way. So also keep that in mind when you're using this. You need literally like 12 feet of clearance to make a turn. Like for me to go, for me to come this way and turn into here, I would definitely be hitting either this tree with my tr with my lawnmower or I would be hitting this edge right here with that tarp because that tarp would swing that tarp would swing way out here and be hitting over here before it went straight into that way if that makes sense because when you turn this bag sways way out but for the price I would say it's a pretty good price um, to make this whole setup because the accelerator is expensive it's not cheap by any means that's why I made this video because um, I've seen plenty of people do a setup like this and I already had the accelerator because I use the accelerator on um, my daily routes throughout the summer and stuff to pick up small amounts of leaves that are left over or like grass clippings when somebody wants their grass clip uh, clippings picked up. So I already had the accelerator so I thought why not go to Harbor Freight and buy a couple of tarps and make this leaf burrito and it took me half hour from buying all the supplies to putting all the zip ties in it cost me 30 bucks to get two of the tarps even though you only need one and I also don't recommend a tarp this size I would go with a little bit smaller because as you can see it's so wide this way I didn't need it to be so wide so maybe instead of like an eight foot by ten foot you do um, six foot or maybe even five foot by eight foot or something like that and that way there the the hole that goes around the accelerator will, won't be so wide it'll be a little bit more narrow and then also eight feet by ten feet's awesome but like i said the problem is i've filled this tarp up before like i filled it up to the point where this tractor wants to pull itself with like because it's so heavy on one side it wants to keep pulling i could feel it when i was going down the yard i filled that tarp up so full that it was probably five or 600 pounds to the point where I literally was sweating and struggling and breathing like so hard, just trying to get it off of there and pulled over into the woods and dumped out. Cause I was thinking, okay, if I fill it up, you know, I'll, I'll save myself some time. But then all of a sudden I'm spending an extra 10 minutes trying to dump it because it weighs seven or 800 pounds, which is crazy to think about, but it's true. And that's why I wanted to tell you guys like, is it really worth spending the five or six hundred dollars to buy this accelerator? I know some of you can probably buy me used or whatever, but I spent about four fifty on my accelerator. Um, but I bought it brand new and it was a tax write off, so it was good for me. But keep that in mind. It might be easier and cheaper for you guys just to buy baggers for your mower. To be completely honest with you, you don't have to worry worry about them ripping so much. You don't have to worry about having. 10 to 20 feet worth of clearance when you're making turns um this setup is good for me right now but to be completely honest with you i just don't see the time saved um if i was to set the tarp up and do it like this i really think it might be more work and take more time rather than just using the accelerator and then making a couple extra dumps with the accelerator but like i said dumping that accelerator it takes 10 seconds i just pull the back off pull it off the mower, dump it, put it back on, and I'm on my way. I don't even have to shut my mower off. But when I'm dumping this thing, oh, I'm definitely shutting my mower off because I'm not sitting there for 10 minutes while my mower's on, sitting there screaming in my ear. But it does a decent job. I just want to let you guys know that this yard would look like this, if not better, with the accelerator, okay? Um, 
it, so yes, yeah, so that's why I give it a six out of 10 because it's cheap. It's really easy to put together. Um, if it breaks, it's super easy to replace, another 15 bucks or whatever. But also keep that in mind, um, if you catch a corner, it's so heavy, it's gonna rip. It doesn't matter if it's 14 mil or if it's 4,000 mil. It's gonna catch a corner at some point in time or you're gonna hit a brick or something and it's gonna catch on that brick or when you're pulling, whatever. There's just so many things that can go wrong. It's very easy to just snag something and then rip it. Um, <clears throat> the bagger system for this mower is $4,500. Now, keep that in mind, that is an amazing bagger. That bagger is not, it's not only massive, but it also has a huge um, turbine suction vac on the side. So it's, it doesn't clog you have to run through some very thick, very wet piles of leaves to get that thing to clog. But you just seen me scoop up my whole yard and this is the pathetic pile I was left with. I mean, it's, I showed you guys what it does. Do with this information what you want to. Like I said, I give it a six out of 10, barely hitting a six, probably leaning more towards a five. Um, I just don't see it worth the money. I'd, well, not the money, but I don't really see it worth my time and energy. It would be easier just to run the accelerator by itself. Or like I said, just buy the extension with the accelerator. And I think those are like 100 to $300 if you just buy the jumbo ex um, extension. And to be 100% honest with you, if you have massive yards, like five or six acres, and you need to suck up a shit ton of leaves, yeah, use this. It, obviously, it's going to hold more than the accelerator. And then, I mean, that's... A small portion of what was in this bag but just like i said keep in mind the more you keep putting in it the heavier it's going to get and if you guys can come up with a solution maybe um that you guys can empty it easier i don't know maybe you put some some carabina uh those clips on the back of it instead of using zip ties and maybe you can just open the back of it i don't know just come up with something but those are my thoughts um and i did it on a pretty decent mower I mean, you guys all know the standard ZK is not something to, you know, you can't blame my mower. My mower's got plenty of power to, to shove those leaves back in there. But keep that in mind. Do with it what you want. I hope that video helps you guys. If you have any questions, just go ahead and leave something down, leave a comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, this is what I do. I do leaf removals. I do yard stuff. I mow grass. I get that cash. Like you grow it, we mow it says. Um, I've done videos on my lawn care setups. This is my truck and my trailer. I've got a couple of videos. Um, this is a dope ass setup, by the way. Like if you're rolling solo or if you want to get started, this is definitely the way to go. I put these walls on this trailer, so this is going to be my dump trailer also. Um, that's the FS94R. That's the Ego. It's electric. It's just strictly backup. Um, PB9010, uh, that is the greatest blower on the market. And then I got my green touch to hold my stuff. And then these walls, believe it or not, I just did this weekend. And that looks amazing. I'm super excited to some, put some, some leaves in the back of here. Don't mind the trash, I just cleaned up the property. But this one comes off. I know you guys are thinking, well, how are you gonna get it, blah, blah, blah. So my game plan is, to keep it just like this and then I can either bring a stool with me to dump you know so I'll set up and I'll walk up to it and dump it in or I'll just step on this platform right here like so and I'll just dump it in that way not that tarp hell no not with that tarp I ain't lifting that up six seven hundred pounds this is gonna be for when I buy the bagger system or um, my accelerator I can easily throw my accelerator over the top of that without even asking a question. Cause my accelerator already only weighs like six pounds. But this ramp comes down and then um, if I use that stupid tarp, the burrito, I'll dump my leaves in there like with that. But I honestly don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth the zip ties. I don't think it's worth the time carrying it around, hooking it up, unhooking it dragging it dumping it when my accelerator is literally just like touch and go 
It's so quick. Whoever came up with this accelerator was a genius. The only downfall with the accelerator, to be completely honest with you, is that it just fills up quick. But it dumps so fast. I love it. The best part about the accelerator is how fast you can have a bagging lawnmower and how fast you can have a mulching lawnmower. Like, if I wanted to mulch up the leaves, I could quickly just take that off, throw it to the side, you're good to go. But if you have a whole bagger system hooked up, it's gonna take you minutes, you know, to unhook all that. And then you would unhook this, but you'd still have the bags on the back. So it's like, the accelerator is that middle ground that helps you like, okay, I gotta mulch up some leaves really quick. Or, oh, I, you know, I don't have the bagger with me, but let me just throw my accelerator on. There's, there's so many different reasons why you, you could, should buy that and why you could buy it to help you out. But like I said, I'm sorry I didn't mean to drag that on. I just wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that I do here. Um, there's my other leaf blower. <laughs> so funny, you guys are like probably thinking, what? He's using the Husqvarna. Yep, I use my Husky a lot. And that is crazy because you just seen I had the PB90 in the back of my truck. And I didn't even pull that out to, to do this. But that's just because I was cleaning up my beds right here. Just so I could show you, I could push the leaves into the yard. And actually try to get some leaves in my yard. So I just wanted to show you guys what that looks like. So now, off camera, I'm going to take this apart. I'm going to put that in my truck because that's going with me this week. It's a very busy week. And the tarp's probably going to stay here because I really don't have a use for it. But go through <laughs> and I'm gonna run all these over and mulch all these up into my yard because I don't pick up my leaves I just mulch them I don't believe in picking up leaves it's it's ironic and funny that I say that but no I I mulch my leaves up every year I I, I think it's completely stupid that people will take the leaves out of their yard versus just having them mulched up in their yard as a launch to call me and say, hey, Brian, how much would it cost to remove these leaves out of my yard, bag them up or whatever, and just get them off my property? I would give them a price. Well, that's, for instance, let's say 100 bucks. And if that same person were to call me and ask me to just run them over with the lawnmower, mulch them up, not even close to 100 bucks. You're talking about probably like a mowing service at that point. Like how much would it cost me to mow your grass? So it'd probably be like 50 bucks. But... My boss is calling me, so I got to go, guys. Like I said, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave a comment. See ya.